Hey everyone, I'm the Derek Frank, and today I'm gonna show you how I made my awesome studio desk for around $200 start to finish. You know, you're gonna be able to do this too. With just a few modifications, you can make it exactly how you want for your own home studio. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment for me as well to help out them YouTube algorithms. My desk is three feet deep by about eight feet wide and a slope of 35 degrees to accommodate my 50 inch touchscreen. Also, on the left and right side of the touchscreen are the standard 19 inch rack spaces that are 26 inches long. This build called for two two by six by eight foot boards, six two by six by 27 inch boards cut with a 35 degree angle on the front and the back, two two by four by 22 inch boards for the back bracing for the legs, two two by four by 26 inch boards for the bottom bracing for the legs, one one by 12 by eight foot board which made up the top shelf, and then one one by 13 by four foot board that made up the desk area that I set my keyboard and all my accessories on. I started by measuring all the cut pieces that I would need. The most difficult one was getting the 35 degree angles cut for the top and bottom of the six pieces to make the slope that would be used for my rack and for my touch screen. But it was easier because I do have a compound miter saw and most compound miter saws are going to have your angle degrees just by turning the saw at the bottom. Next I laid out all of the pieces in order to make the frame. All of the pieces labeled B are the 27 inch 35 degree cut pieces that were then mounted to the two pieces that are labeled A, which are the two by six by eight foot pieces. After I secured the frame, I used metal L brackets to mount the pieces F and E. F is the top piece that holds my studio monitors, and E is the piece that I have my keyboard, mouse, and MIDI controllers sitting on. Next, I had to make the L-shaped frame labeled C and D in this diagram. And that was done so that I could mount the legs to this and make it a flat surface on the top and bottom because the other pieces were cut to a 35 degree angle. The final step was to paint the desk and then install the rack ears on both sides. I got both pairs of rack ears from Amazon and they're pictured right here. And you can find the link below so you can get your own set as well. And that's about it. That's how I made this awesome desk for under $200. Now, my desk is height adjustable, and in order to do that, I use some old percussion table legs that are crank adjustable. But since those aren't gonna be readily available, I do have a link to a height adjustable stand that's already pre-built that would be perfect for this build that you can find in the links below uh, on Amazon, and it can be shipped to your house. Of course, all of this can also be modified to your needs. You might not have a 50 inch touchscreen, or maybe you don't use a touchscreen at all. Maybe you just want your faders in there. Of course, all of those uh, sizes can be shrunk down. You don't have to necessarily have it eight feet long if you only want six feet. Or even if you maybe only want the outside two rack pieces, you can make those as separate pieces. But don't be afraid to at least try making your own desk. If I would have bought this desk, it would have cost me probably thousands of dollars. And there's a lot to be said about a professionally made desk that is already manufactured and they look really good. But sometimes you can't get what you need with the space you have, which is what I have a problem with usually with my space. So I just go ahead and try to build something. Now it doesn't always work out and there's usually hiccups along the way, but that's what this is all about because really all you're out is your time. And at the end of the day, you can tell people that you made this really cool piece of gear for your studio, and it feels a lot better having it. Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe and like. I've got videos coming out every Monday with DIY and how-to projects for home studios and the average musician. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments or just feel free to shoot me a message. Check out my link tree with all of my social media links to get a hold of me. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.